In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at the various ways in which you can bring content into your project. Whenever you create a movie in Adobe Premiere Elements, it calls it a project. And each separate movie can have its own project name and title. You see up here in the black box at the very top, uh, the name of the project you're working on. You can rename this but the default is project one, two, three, etc. And you can name it something that make, makes sense to you. But what we'd like to do is show you how you can begin to take the assets you have and bring them into any particular project, be they video files, audio files, graphics of one kind or another. What we're going to do is we're going to use the add media option in the upper left corner. When I click on this, it gives me options of how to pull information in. I can go into my hard drive and find files and folders. I can have my camera live attached to it uh, and pull stuff in right off a device or a webcam. I can do some capture that way. Let's look simply at files and folders as we get started today. What I'm going to do is click on the file folder icon that will take me to my hard drive. And here I have a couple of assets here. I have some short movies. I can click on any one of them. I can hold the control key down and click on any others. Let's just pick three out of the list and click on the open button at the lower right corner. And then that will pull in these three items into my project assets. Now the key thing to remember is that Premiere Elements is an NLE editor. What I have here is I have not taken the files in here directly from my hard drive. These are uh, pointers to the files in the hard drive. In fact, if you have a very large video file, it will take a while before the image appears in the box. And that doesn't mean anything's wrong. What it's doing is it's making its own internal copy that points to the external file. So if I go ahead and delete this file here by pressing on the uh, garbage can, the trash can, I am not deleting the file from my hard drive. I'm just deleting the uh, copy of the file that is used internally in Premiere Elements. So I can take any of these and delete them without worrying that I'm actually damaging, touching, or erasing the original file that I have. Uh, so that's an important thing to remember. Another thing we can do when we click on Add Media yeah, I'll go back to files and folders. Let's back up a level here. I have a folder called Lake in March and this contains uh, all kinds of information, not just video that I want to put into my project. I can click on that and click on instead of open I click on import folder and when I do that it will add the media and notice it's taking some time right now because it's rendering copies of the original. Uh, it's pulling in everything I have in that file. I have several video clips. I also have in that file an audio clip. I also have in that file a, um, a still image. And so it's going to pull all that stuff in as a subfolder here in my project assets. And when I want to see what's inside it, I simply click on it. And here are the items that it's still rendering that are part of that folder. Here's a sound file, here's a PNG graphic file, and all the rest are items that are uh, uh, video clips pulled in from some footage I did on a lake in the winter. And so this is an example of how I can navigate through here. I can go up a level here and I'm back to my main folder. So it acts somewhat like your Explorer in Windows in order to see all the items that you have. Now let me go, go back into the Lake and March folder. You also have three options in the upper left corner on what you view. If I want to see uh, everything but the video clips, I can turn that off by clicking here. And now when you see when it doesn't have a shadow around it, it's, it's still there, but it's not visible. I'll turn that back on or I can turn off the uh, still images by clicking on this the icon over here and when I do that I do not see the red cap that I had before 
or I can turn off the view of the sound file by clicking over here and now all I see is the images and now if I click this one I see nothing and I can turn them back on one at a time and decide which objects I want to see. I can also change the view here in panel options. I can uh, I can actually create a new folder. I, I can do bring in a new item. When we do an adjustment later layer or other items they will appear here as well. I can change the sort order. When we click on view I have grid view or list view and here is our list view. And so this gives me the item, it gives me the uh, name, it gives me the uh, details about it in terms of uh, what I see here. So this is the options that we have and you can take any of them, you can, you can pin them uh, and you can move up and down through your folder system here. Let's go back up and here I'm back at my main view. So you have different ways in which you can look at your project assets. Let me show you another way. I can take actually my menu system here and when I'm looking at a folder, let's say I want to import the image of this gal on the phone, I can simply drag and drop it over here and it will pop, pop, be populated in my project asset window. I can also take a folder if I wanted to of other things and um, uh, take this here and drag it and drop it and it too will be populated into my particular window. So you can, uh, you don't have to use the drop down in order to put something in. You can use your file menu system as well. So those are some of the ways in which you can begin to put uh, content in your project asset window. When if you want to make it go away, you just click on the down arrow and it's still there. It's just hidden. You have more room for other things now. In the next lesson, we'll begin to show you how to begin to take these assets and use them in the timeline.